the Jews who believe in Jesus for salvation. We've been studying in Romans in chapter 11, and right now we're looking at verse 15, the second part. Uh, Paul's writing this letter to uh, the Romans, and right now he's talking to the Gentile Christians there. Before, God had rejected the Jews. Why? Because they did not believe in Jesus as the Messiah, who was promised long ago and foresaw by the prophets in the Old Testament. The Jews rejected Jesus. So God opened up his promise of salvation to all people who would believe in Jesus alone as their Savior. Not only the Jews, but all people in the world. Let's look at the verse that we looked at previously. For if their rejection means the reconciliation of the world. Now for the second part of verse 15. What will their acceptance mean but life from the dead? Okay. Well, Paul, he's talking, writing in this verse 15 in the second half about the acceptance of of people into God's family. And the only way for them to be accepted is that they have faith in Jesus Christ as the Savior, the promised Messiah, not depending on the law to save them from their sins, no. And in the Gentiles, it's the same thing. They must believe in Jesus Christ as the Messiah, the only one who is our Savior. If someone believes in other things for salvation from sins, they will have nothing. Jesus Christ is the only one who can lead us to heaven. Now, we are talking specifically about Part B, where Paul is talking about the Jews' inclusion meaning they, they are being alive from the dead. The Jews have faith in Christ, and they will not be dead in their sins, but they will be alive in Christ. What will their acceptance mean but life from the dead? Yes, the Jews who receive Christ for salvation, they will be reconciled to God. Now, let's look at verse 15 in its entirety. For if their rejection means the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance mean but life from the dead? If we understand that faith is a gift from God for all people, not just the Jews who believe, not just the Gentiles, then the Jews would not look down on the Gentiles, and the Gentiles would not look down on the Jews. No one would. We are all saved by grace. Coram Dio. To live Coram Dio is to live one's entire life in the presence of God, under the authority of God, to the glory of God.